Hope. Everyone is doing good. Welcome to our channel. And thank you for watching this video. I won't let allow you to waste your valuable time here. Let's go and see today's interesting topic. Importance of controlling the mind. Lord Sri Krishna describes in detail about the importance of controlling the mind. He tells Arjuna that by controlling the mind he can attain complete perfection in life. He makes it clear that without mind control, no one can attain peace and bliss in life. Let us see the verses related to mind control spoken by Krishna. A transcendentalist should always engage his body, mind and self in relationship with the Supreme, he should live alone in a secluded place and should always carefully control his mind. Why Arjuna says it is extremely difficult to control the mind. Arjuna was hearing Krishna patiently. Krishna understood Arjuna had some doubts. It is true that one who has controlled his mind can attain anything in his life. But our mind is most of the time unsteady, uncooperative, and restless. But if you tell me to control the mind then it won't be possible. Many yogis and mystics have tried in the past to gain control over their mind, but they failed. But he too failed to control his mind. Even great personalities face so difficulty in controlling the mind. You and I too face so many challenges in life because of our restless mind. Whether it be your personal life or professional life, you face difficulties because your mind does not allow you to act wisely. You easily get distracted because of your uncontrolled mind. Your restless mind does not allow you to focus on your work. But as soon as he opens his books within few minutes his mind takes him to some other world. Working professionals too face similar problem. You may be sitting at your work desk trying to complete your task, but you are not able to focus. It is not that you do not know how to do your work, but your mind does not allow you to concentrate. You are not able to sit for long hours and work. What advice Krishna gives in Bhagavad Gita to control the mind? Arjuna, 5000 years ago was facing similar problem. Krishna completely agreed with Arjuna. He too said that controlling mind is indeed difficult. Krishna gave Arjuna hope. Arjuna is not asking questions for himself only. And Krishna is not answering only to Arjuna. He is assuring us that there is a way by which we can control our restless mind. Controlling the mind by practice. For example, when a child for the first time tries to ride a bicycle, he falls. He may start thinking that it is impossible for him to ride a bicycle. During the process of learning he fails many times. It is true that controlling mind is more difficult than learning a bicycle. You also initially thought riding a bicycle is impossible. Similarly, with practice you should try your best to gain control over your mind. Now when you grow old, you lack enthusiasm, hope and a desire to take up challenges. You should have hope in the words of Krishna. What practice to do to control the mind? You should practice focusing your mind on the activities you are doing currently. You should not allow the mind to get distracted. And by repeated practice, you will ultimately attain victory over your mind. The great Vedic sages practice meditation to control the mind. When their mind got distracted, they would force their mind to focus on their object of meditation. Mantra meditation is the best way to gain control over your mind. In the present age mantra meditation is the recommended process to gain control over our restless minds. We all who chant the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra have the experience that during chanting, our mind wanders many times. But immediately we should bring back the mind from wherever it has gone and focus on chanting. Initially, when one starts chanting, mind wanders frequently. I was not even able to chant for 5 minutes. So, when we start chanting, our uncontrolled mind does not allow us to chat. After repeated practice for few weeks, you will find that mind is not giving the same trouble as it was giving earlier. It takes several years of repeated practice to attain complete control over the mind. Mind has become more controlled. And if with patience you continue the process of practicing mantra mediation then eventually you will win over the mind. When you chant Hare Krishna it means you are praying to Srimati Radharani, Hare, and Krishna, the Supreme Lord. So, when you chant these holy names your mind gets purified of all bad thoughts and harmful impressions. As mind starts getting pure it becomes less restless. It becomes easy to control the mind. How detachment helps to gain control over the mind. Vairagya or detachment means freeing your mind from those material activities which is harmful for the mind. Chanting the holy names of Krishna, reading literatures like Bhagavad Gita, being an association of sincere devotees of Krishna will help a lot in purifying the mind of all impurities. 
by detaching the mind from activities not devoted to the Lord. Also, you should not do any activity which is not authorized in the Vedic scriptures like Bhagavad Gita. When you spend significant time in practicing Krishna consciousness then gradually your mind will get free from all the impurities which is the root cause of your uncontrolled mind. A purified mind is easy to control. Controlling mind is a Herculean task. But by following the formula given by Krishna in Bhagavad Gita, you can gain control over your mind. Krishna is teaching that by practice and detachment it is possible to control the mind. And a controlled mind will become your best friend. Once your mind becomes your best friend, it will assist you in whatever activities you will do. If you are a student, then you will be able to study hard with single-minded attention. If you are a working professional then you will be able to do your work with sincerity, with complete attention. You will be able to complete your work in time and even before time. No fear of being reprimanded by the boss. No fear of being laid off because of poor performance. One of the most important point you need to remember is that all activities should be done by keeping Lord Krishna in the center. If you do your duty sincerely by keeping Krishna in the center, then it will become a spiritual activity. When Krishna gets pleased by your endeavor your life becomes successful. In Bhagavad Gita, Krishna gives an invaluable tip as how to gain control over the mind.